Hey there, I'm Jackie Pickering here with Matt Doyle and welcome to The Daily Extra. We are in Seattle talking about the conference semifinals. Real Salt Lake obviously out here to face the Sounders. Now the Sounders go into the second leg down 3-0. Now Ziggy Schmidt's team says they are not down and out and Ziggy said this is just setting them up for a historic MLS match. Do you think that's going to happen? Well, that's what Ziggy said. <laughs> he wants a miracle to happen and he actually expects it to happen on Wednesday night. That's exactly what the Sounders are going to need. No MLS team has ever entered the second leg of the conference semifinals down by three goals. So anything's possible, but it's going to take a lot. All right, well, more from this matchup in just a minute. But first, let's get you caught up on the rest of the conference semifinal matchups with reports from across the country. From Sporting KC training ground out here in Kansas City, a very confident Sporting Kansas City team headed into the second leg of the Eastern Conference semifinal series against the Colorado Rapids on Wednesday night. It marks the first ever playoff game at Livestrong Sporting Park, and there's a lot of buzz around town. They're actually having a supporters rally on Tuesday night to support Kansas City. And look, a 2-0 lead going into the second leg of this series, you'd have to assume they have every advantage. Plus, you look on the other side, the Colorado Rapids confirmed on Monday they're going to play without Drew Moore, Kosuke Kimura, and Caleb Folon and Tyrone Marshall also out with the red card, but on Sporting Kansas City side saying we're going into this one, a 0-0 tie. We hear a lot of teams say that in MLS, but look, a 2-0 edge going into the second leg. It's some very long odds for the Colorado Rapids and a very big advantage for Sporting Kansas City. Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer. Simon Borg here at Robertson Stadium in Houston, Texas, where on Thursday night, the Houston Dynamo will look to advance to the Eastern Conference Championship game when they receive the Philadelphia Union. Dominic Kinnear, head coach of the Dynamo, along with Brad Davis, and Brian Ching participated in the pre-game press conference on Tuesday here and they highlighted the home field advantage at Robertson Stadium. Their 10 wins, second only to the LA Galaxy this year. Also surprising to hear at the press conference, Dominic Kinnear talk about how the Houston Dynamo go into this game pretending the first leg never happened. That 2-1 win in Philadelphia, n erase it. Nil-nil starting this game. That's the approach they're going to have. Finally, interesting to see what Dominic Kinnear will do at forward. Who will partner with Brian Ching? Is it Carlo Cosley or Kalen Carr, who's on a hot streak lately? Tune in, 8.30 Eastern on Thursday, ESPN2, ESPN Deportes. Jonah Friedman here at the Home Depot Center in Carson, California, ahead of Thursday's second leg of the Western Conference semifinals. The LA Galaxy back in training, and obviously the big story coming out of that first leg is a little scuffle at the end of the game that saw Juninho and Rafa Marquez red carded. Now the Galaxy are saying that that's not an issue anymore. They've moved past it, and they're focusing on the next game. Kind of hard to believe to see how things ended there. Uh, some of the players told us that, yeah, they think they're in the Red Bull's head a little bit, so I think that's going to play into this game quite a bit. Galaxy will be without Janino in this second leg. Galaxy coach Bruce Arena wouldn't tip his hand yet on who he's going to put in that central midfield role, but by all accounts, it's probably going to be Chris Birchall, a guy who's come in all season long and filled that role. And we talked to Birchall. He said he's ready to go. He wants this pressure, and he's ready to play in this game. The big question entering this second leg is how the Galaxy are going to play it. They're up 1-0 on aggregate. The obvious option for the team with that defense is to sit back, absorb the pressure, try to ride out the result. Todd Donovan tells us that no, that's not the game plan. They're going to push forward and look for that goal to send it home and advance to the Western Conference Championship. That game is on Thursday, 11 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2, ESPN Deportes, and TSN2 in Canada. The Red Bulls arrive in Los Angeles tonight. We will check in with them tomorrow. All right, good stuff, guys. We'll be back here in Seattle. Matt, a lot of injury questions for both teams. Mauro Rosales out for the Sounders. How is that going to play a factor? Well, it's going to be a huge factor. Siggy Schmidt ruled Rosales out today. Definitely not going to suit up. Who the replacement's going to be, nobody's really sure. Lamar Nagel filled the role on Saturday, but he really struggled. Could be Roger Levesque, who came in at the end and played well. Could be Brad Evans sliding out from his central midfield role. And Eric Freeberg coming in and playing centrally in front of Ozzy Alonso. But Siggy wasn't going to tell anybody, so we'll all have to find out tomorrow. All right, well, Real Salt Lake could also potentially be missing two key players for them on the back line. Tell us about that. Well, both Nat Borchers and Jaime Alave will be game time decisions, according to Jason Christ. Both of them looked a little dodgy hobbling off after practice. The likely replacements, Chris Schuler and fullback Chris Wingert. It's going to be a big problem for RSL communicating in front of that crowd with a makeshift back line. Not an optimum situation at all. Well, back to the Sounders, they, despite the deficit missing results, they do have a lot going on their side in their favor right now. They could potentially be playing for Casey Kellers. This could possibly be his last game as a Sounder. And everyone knows Century Link Field is a very dangerous place to play. How do you think that's going to factor in? Well, I think the emotion of the situation is going to be huge, precisely because it could be Kellers' last game. His teammates, his coaches, and the fans don't want to see him go out like that. And those fans are going to be loud. There's going to be a packed house. 
anything could happen. A 3 nil hole, that's huge, but if they get one of those early goals, the, the crowd will go nuts, and from there the floodgates could open. We'll have to see. All right, well, Wednesday's playoff doubleheader, it kicks off as Colorado travels to Sporting KC. Coverage begins at 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox Soccer Channel, and here in Seattle, Real Salt Lake, Seattle Sounders, that begins at 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. And, of course, you can follow all the action right here on MLSsoccer.com.